with God. The closer uh, your relationship with Him, the powerful He becomes. Because it says in Hebrews 12, 29, that He's a jealous God, a consuming fire. You know, when you go grow closer to Him, and you know Him, and His Spirit is on you, everything about your life, you cannot say, okay, this part of me, or whatever that I do, my thinking, and the physical essence of what I, what I do, I want to commit it to the Lord. Or this one, I don't want to commit it to God. You know, I want to do whatever that I want to do with it. It doesn't work like that. When you have this relationship with God, whether you like it or not, it's whole. so powerful. It becomes a whole, package. yeah, it's like a whole package. Which means whether you like it or not, He becomes the determiner of your life. He ordains every thinking that you have. And that's, you know, like, I'm amazed with that. And something that I've found in my relationship with Him, I will never let go. I can let go of everything else, not Him. I've tasted what it's like. I've known what he can see. I've seen and experienced the greatness of knowing him. And that's why I'm so excited for this week because this is my life. My life. You know, when, don't just serve God for the sake of serving him. You come and serve him because you know you're serving this mighty great God. Do you know that this God? And what is that? Every word of God that you know, because you know him, I can be reciting the Bible verse, somebody else can recite the same. It can be your knowledge, your good memory, your good capture, and you can cram it well, and you can say. People can say it without feeling, people can say it because they can remember, people can say it because they have a very strong mind, and they can say it. But when you say it knowing, knowing, knowing the Spirit of God, when it says in Hebrews 4.12 that the Word of God is sharper than any double said, it's alive and active. Can you create a bosnicolo and bulla a cocoa? You can't go alive and active, not because of the printed words, not because of any other thing, because of the Holy Spirit in every word. Now, what's the kid in the Bible? The Bible was there. There's Holy Spirit presence. All the books in the whole world, in the whole universe, they are printed. Just printed. It's just printed. You burn it, that's it. It's printed. But the Bible is totally different. Now, what's the Bible? The Bible is different. It's inspired by God. Every word that is printed in the Bible, every word, the Holy Spirit presence in every alphabet, in every word, in everything that you read. If you say, okay, Luke 137, with God, absolutely nothing is impossible. It's just not a phrase. It's not a saying. And if you look at this, it, it says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Philippians 413. It can be, you know, just a, a wall hanging or canvas that you can see and read. But every word that is written, it's breathed by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. When you meditate on the word of God and you keep on saying it, it's powerful. Not because of the word that you say, no, because of the presence of the Holy Spirit in every word you say. Get deeper into knowing him. When you know him, you will fear nothing. When you know him, whatever lies ahead of you, he will not fear. He will commit, he will tell you about your future. When you pray, the Holy Spirit leads you on the words that you need to tell God about your future. So you call, go back to Romans 4, 17. You call things that are not. Your call is something you cannot even see. You don't know whether it's going to happen or not. But through the Holy Spirit, you are calling things that are not there. You are calling things that are not there. You are calling. Not calling because of the sound of your voice. Not calling because you can speak well. No, you are calling because of the power of the Holy Spirit. When he says, the Bible was in a rephrase, on Jeremiah 33, 3, call out to me. We've always thought about the prayer and how you call. You don't just call because of the sound of your voice. If I'm calling um, my daughter-in-law, I'm calling Rosie, or I'm, I'm calling my daughters, or calling Elijah, or calling my grandchildren, Joshua. I'm just calling Joshua, or I'm calling Nathaniel. So it becomes a sound, and it becomes a voice. But the call that it speaks in the Bible, it's a call from your heart. You're called from within you. You're calling through the Holy Spirit to hear you. And when you call and it says, I will answer, I will hear, that's the Holy Spirit that is within you. So you need to work with your relationship with the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is within you, he leads you to say things of your future, of your 